Hi scientists. Since it's the last week of school, I figured that our time together today can be spent doing a fun experiment. So I have researched and found a cool experiment I wanna share with you guys that I'm gonna do. And if you have the materials at home, maybe you can try it out too, maybe over break, and we'll have lots of fun. So together. the experiment we are gonna try out is an erupting volcano. This is a science experiment I have never tried before, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun to try it out together. First, you will need some sort of bottle. You can use a soda bottle, something that's about almost two liters big. So I have a juice bottle. I found it in my recycling bin. You're going to need some water. So right now I just have a jug of water, baking soda, white vinegar, some dish soap, and some measuring tools to measure out all of our materials. So our first step, we want to measure out about half of a cup of water, cold water, and we're going to pour that water right into our bottle. Next, we're going to measure about four times that amount, so two cups of vinegar. So I'm gonna fill this cup twice, two cups, and put it into the bottle. All right, so in our bottle, we have a mixture of half a cup of cold water and two cups of white vinegar. The next step is to squirt some dish soap into our mixture. And I'm gonna say we're gonna squirt and count to five and then stop. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so our mixture in our bottle is all set for now. Now we're going to move on and make the mixture that we're going to pour into the bottle to make the reaction. So for this mixture, we need the baking soda and water. So what you're going to do is make an equal part mixture of baking soda to water. So however much baking soda you pour, you're going to pour the same amount of water inside and stir it up. So I have my baking soda mixture, which I did about a half a cup of baking soda mixed with a half a cup of water. And this is what it looks like. I stirred it up and I have my mixture in my bottle, the water, vinegar, and dish soap. All right, the next part of this experiment is to get ready for the eruption. So if you're trying this out at home, make sure you have an adult to help you and you have an open space because it can get messy. It's going to erupt. So I'm gonna go and find an empty space back there and I'll show you my setup. All right, so I'm getting ready to do my experiment. I have the bottle right here and I have my baking soda mixture here. You wanna make sure it's nice and mixed and then once it's nice and mixed, you're gonna pour it into the bottle and you're going to do it as quickly as you can and step away because it's going to erupt. All right, let's do this. So that was pretty cool. Let's talk about now how it works. What just happened and how did it work? So when we mix baking soda with vinegar, it causes a chemical reaction. And the chemical reaction it caused is a gas called carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is the same type of gas that is put inside of soda that gives it that bubbly feeling in your mouth. Think about, have you ever shaken a soda bottle before? What happens when you shake it up? It explodes or erupts. 
So the same thing happens when we mix vinegar and so baking soda. When we mix it up and let them combine, they form an eruption. Basically the gas gets really excited and it moves around and it doesn't have enough space inside of the bottle so it has to find other places to go which makes it go out.